Good morning, you guys. So we are at work again today. It is first thing in the morning. It is 8.25. Yes, 8.25 a.m. And I just cleaned my room, cleaned the bed, everything. My first patient is a pap smear and she is here already. So I'm gonna set up for that. I show you guys already how to set up for a pap smear. So let's go. Yo, let me tell you guys, I haven't had a baby in a long time. So, I'm excited. So my room is all cleaned, wiped down, ready for my next patient, which is a baby. So I will show you guys how I set up for the babies. And she's going to get vaccine. And she is six months. So that means we have to do rectal temperature. So I'll show you guys how to do that and how I set up for the baby and the scale and everything and how I measure the head circumference and the height and yeah. Okay, so for the weight, I pull this out and then I put the scale that, that I already cleaned and then I get a blue chucks for the baby to lay on. And this is the scale. So when the baby comes, I push on. And then this is when you put the baby on the scale when it's zero, zero, zero. And yeah. 
So now for the bed, I get another chucks. I put a chucks on the bed because sometimes babies like to pee and poop. So it stays on this and not runs out on the bed. I'm going to take this up, put it there, and then the chucks. This is where the chucks goes, and then I pull the sheet over. Okay. And then I get another chucks and put it above because some parents... They don't like to put their baby to lay down on the sheet. They think it's dirty. So I put another one on top. And yeah. So this is the bed. And this is the scale. Okay, guys. So since it's a baby, we have to do rectal temperature. The blue means oral temperature. So we have to change the blue one to the red one. Because red is rectal. Let's take this out. And then this is the red one that we're gonna use for rectal. So you guys, part of the setup for a baby is the tape measure, which we use for the head circumference and to check the baby's height. And also we need lube to put on the thermometer's probe before we push it in the baby's butt. The lube helps to slide it in the butt more easily so this is how you check the rectal temperature on a baby you get the probe get a cover and then you put some lube on the cover right here so for babies you push it in the butt up to this line which should be half an inch for babies you only push the probe half an inch in the butt let me measure it and show you guys. So from here to here is one inch on the tape measure. If you look closely, you will see to the line is half an inch, which is half an inch, which is for the baby. So for babies, you put the lube up to this line right here. Then you push it in the baby's butt and then you squeeze the butt cheeks. When you squeeze the butt cheeks, the, ter the temperature reads quicker. If you don't squeeze the butt cheek, you will have the probe there in the baby's butt lingering around for long before it could read. So you squeeze the butt cheeks and then the temperature reads quicker. And that is how you check the temperature rectally on a baby. All right, you guys. So when measuring the height of a baby, we're gonna pretend that this is the baby. The baby's laying down. You get a pen or whatever you have. This was the closest thing to me. So you hold the baby's head so it can stay still. And you put the pen right above the baby's head and you make a line. And then, you know how baby's foot is always curved like this? You want to stretch the baby's leg out straight. When the baby leg is straight, you hold the leg down and make another line. And then you're going to have two lines, two lines like this. So what you're going to do is, this is your tape measure. You're going to fold this part to the beginning right here fold it like that and then you measure from the first line to the second line let me show you guys like this and this is how you measure the baby now if it's the uh, head circumference you lift the baby's head up like this you put it under there and you put the tape 
around. You put the tape measure around. I like that. Like this. And you want to be careful because sometimes these things can give you paper cuts and you don't want to give the baby a paper cut on the forehead or, you know, so you got to be careful. So that's how you measure the head circumference and the baby's height. All right, you guys, so I am on lunch and we're, we're having a presentation about HIV and the PrEP medication during lunch. So they're going to provide us lunch and that's what I'm about to go to and log on to the meeting. You guys, thank you for spending the day with me. I hope you guys learned something today. I didn't vlog after lunch because it was really, really slow. I had two virtual visits and my patient for... I had two patients who was coming in, one rescheduled and one canceled. And the only person that got put on my schedule was for vaccines only. It was a kid who was going back to school. So that was pretty much a nurse's visit. So after I did her vitals, the nurse goes in and give the vaccine. So it was nothing going on after lunch. So yeah, and now I'm home. I am about to <sighs> unwind and relax. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.